pro uh, one very influential person I've met uh, doing these meetups uh, is the ne next person I'm going to introduce you with to. Um, I met Chris, how long ago? It was about six, seven months ago, probably even a little longer than that. Uh, Chris was sitting right there, and we started speaking, and we got to know each other, and we did a little JV deal here a little while ago uh, that was somewhat successful. Um, we made money. <laughs> That's the bottom line. And, uh, but Chris is uh, kind of considered by many to be the Nost Nostradamus of Google. Uh, he, uh, he really has the heartbeat of what's going on uh, inside Google. Uh, he, you know, at our meetup here was just a few months ago, he came and spoke to you about Google Wave. And it blew everybody away here. And tonight, I think he's going to probably blow us away again tonight because of now Google Buzz. So guys, you know, let's have fun tonight. Let's get a, catch a buzz with Chris Lang and uh, Google Buzz. So Chris, let me just switch off the microphone. And Hi, right, folks. I'm Chris Lang. Many of you I met last time when we were here in this same room and we talked about Google Wave. Tonight, we're going to be talking about Google Buzz. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the author of Get It to the Inbox, Wicked and Evil Social Marketing Tactics, G-Wave Secrets for Howie Schwartz, and G-Wave Mastery. I'm a regular person just like you. I've been rich. I've been poor. I've fallen in love. I've had my heart broke. Some days I look upon my children as sleeping little darling angels. Other days, maybe not so much. I'm a business owner just like you. I just happen to make my living online. I built three brick and mortar businesses in my youth. And I, when I was 24, I took a 700 seat, $5 million restaurant from being in the red to making $250,000 in one year. And that was back in 1984 when the money was still worth something. So long before the internet came along, I was a business owner just like you. How many of you can identify with things like that? Of course, all of you can. And that's what social media does for you. It makes you a real person, someone that people like, someone that people identify with. And brick and mortar sales coming in your front door of your brick and mortar business. Why? Because you know me. I'm Chris Lang. You've got to know me a little bit. And people these days, if, as Roy has talked about before, are a lot more web savvy. They just need to know you a little bit more. And when they know you and they trust you, then making that sale is a whole lot easier. And that's what we're going to be talking about, about what is good in social media, what's bad in social media, and how to use Google Buzz tonight. But first, I have to give you a heads up. You've been sold a bill of goods on a lot of issues that most of us don't even know about. One of the first things is, how many of you have read Crush It by Gary Vaynerchuk? In Crush It, he recommends using Viddler for your, your uh, free video hosting, and he recommends using free blogs, free blog hosting, or Joomla for your uh, uh, blog platforms. Don't do that. That is one of the two worst pieces of advice I've ever heard. What do you want to do instead? You want to use YouTube to host your free videos. And of course, you want to host your sites on your own domains using WordPress. Why do you want to use YouTube is the first question we're going to ask. And that's number one, you can leverage the traffic that's just waiting for you in Google search. YouTube videos rank very, very well in Google search. Under very high traffic terms, YouTube is the number two search engine. More searches are performed on YouTube than they are on Bing or Yahoo. And third, YouTube traffic can be yours very easily when you do YouTube the way I teach. But I'll tell you more about that later. And here's why you want to use YouTube. How many of you have heard of uh, Bob Proctor? Of course, you've all heard of Bob Proctor. And there, if you search Bob Proctor's name, you'll see Bob Proctor appearing top 10 with his YouTube videos in a search for his name. You can do the same thing very easily when you know how to use YouTube. This is why you don't want to use Viddler. You want to use YouTube to leverage the power of Google search to get people to see your videos so they can get to know you a little better, so they can trust you, so they know who you are, and so that you can make those sales. 
be it brick and mortar, be it affiliate, or be it internet marketing. All people really need to do these, do these days is get to know you a little better. They buy products from people they know. And that's why we all use social media. So tell me this, what would your customers do? Would they search for you on Viddler, a free, Viddler, a free uh, video hosting platform? No, they're going to Google you. They're going to search for you in Google search. And this is where your YouTube videos are going to be seen. They're going to search for your product name. They're going to search for your brand name. They're going to search for your name. They want to know more about you before they buy. When they can find you and you can show them that you're a real person with children and a family and you just happen to make your living online, then you begin to see conversion and branding come from social media. But you have to do it right. And if they find your YouTube video in a top 10 search right there in the front page, YouTube doesn't come up on page four. YouTube comes up usually at number four above the fold in a Google search. It's very important. Are they going to watch your YouTube video when they're searching for your business name, your brand name, your product name, or anything surrounding you before they buy? Of course they are. And now they get to see you talking to them just like I am you. That's why we use YouTube. But before you believe anything I tell you, I want to ask you to make your own informed uh, uh, decision on everything I'm going to present you tonight. Everything I'm going to present to you are facts, things that we have been testing for over two years in social media. I don't come in here and tell you theories. I don't come in here and tell you things to the best of my knowledge. If I'm going to tell you something that exists, it's because it is a fact at the time I'm telling you, and we have tested it thoroughly for years. What do you need to do when, you're, when we're talking about things like your blog hosting and, and your video hosting? You need to wring every drop of traffic out of what you're doing for branding, for authority, for recognition, and for above all sales. And you need to use the best resources the first time and not fool around with second place. Because that's where your competition is. They're in second place. They're in third place. They aren't even found. You want to be in first place, and you want to use the right platforms the first time. That's why I'm telling you, WordPress on your domain and YouTube for your video hosting. You want to spend as little time doing this as you can. You don't want to spend all day on Facebook. You don't want to spend all day on Twitter. You want to spend your time making money. This means Google search and YouTube. You've been sold a bill of goods on Twitter. Here is Ashton Kutcher's Twitter profile. Taken yesterday morning with 4,569,000 and some odd followers. About two months ago, he tweeted a friend of mine's uh, blog when he only had 3.8 million followers. Now, my friend got roughly about 20,000 followers from that tweet. But let's do the math here. And this is what we found within our Twitter testing over the course of the last year and a half. Ashton Kutcher at 3.8 million produced 20,000 visitors. That is a 0.05% click-through rate. I would love to get 20,000 visitors to my site, wouldn't you? Of course we would. However, building your own Twitter profile and following to tweet your own blog posts, your own videos, is not something you can do because it takes 100,000 Twitter for Twitter. Yeah. Twitter followers, otherwise known as tweets, to get 5,000 visitors. You have to have a following of 100K to get 5,000 visitors to the site. This is from testing over a year and a half, and this is a, a, a compilation of what we have found. So you've got to have 20,000 uh, uh, Twitter followers to get 50 visitors. That is very true. And it takes 30,000 visitors a month to a website to make a good living online. And I, I, I can tell you, I've had 10,000 visitors. I've had 50,000 visitors. It takes 30,000 a month to make that five grand a week that you need to online to have a real business and make enough money to make a decent living these days. And lastly... Every one of my consulting clients that I talked to on the phone, every one of my member site members uh, in the month of December, I gave them a free half-hour consulting session on the phone with me. 
Number one, of course, that was to keep my following of paying subscribers. But secondly, I learned more from them than they learned from me because every one of my consulting clients told me no matter how many followers they have and no matter how many followers they have on Twitter or Facebook, they are not converting into 